celebrate motherhood. But we will pick back up on the third Sunday and finish out the series. I want you to journey with me today as we consider the idea of how to be good and bad part one. Like as we all struggle with the age old dilemma of how to be good and bad, but more specifically, how to be good in the eyes of God and still be angry. This dilemma is not as debatable as it may appear to be because the Bible does not tell us that we cannot be angry. Amen. But rather how that anger should be expressed. Yes, Lord. Many news accounts of violence over parking spaces end up in the world rage. Just to name a few, as well as pandemic that has now spread across the world. Speak to uncontrolled anger. And we see tempers are continuing to flare up and violence being committed against others because someone is either too close for comfort, or they are not wearing a mask. Although there may be reason to become angry, like else. The appropriate way to express that anger is to bring the issue to the employee or manager of the store. Instead of doing something that you will regret later on, some people get a kick or get off on hurting others. The guy doesn't like that. He's not pleased when we purposely offend and hurt others. So we find our scripture lesson this morning, guidelines as to how Christians should govern themselves when it comes to anger. The Apostle Paul gives us insight as to what is expected of those called by his name. What Paul tells us is very clear to the point. By nature, our calling as sons and daughters of God is that we are people who should not be given easily to lying because lying only leads to deeper sins yes. and violence when it's done only on the premise of stirring up trouble. Some people take great joy in stirring up trouble for those that they despise or are jealous of. And it's this type of anger and ungoverned passion that we're being warned about in our scripture lesson today. It is one thing to be angry at a person or at a situation. But if we allow that anger to lead us into simple actions, yes, yes. then it has to become altogether different and against the will of God. Let me say that again. It is one thing to be angry at a person or a situation, but if we allow that anger to lead us into simple actions, 
It has become something altogether different and against the will of God. But on the flip side, like us, if an occasion arises for us to express displeasure at what we see wrong in society, and to address it to bring about change, this part ain't good. But Paul warns us that we need to do it without offending and hurting others. The truth of the matter is that when we get in to sinful desires to do wrong to another person, we give the devil a foothold. Many times our first reactions to situations in life are simple and not thought out. And the worst thing we can do is to give in to those temptations. Because Satan will step in and take control. Yes, he will. Anger is meant to be a healthy expression to help us release some of the stresses of life. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob commands us to express our anger. Just like he did many times in the Bible. Anger is needed to bring about change to many of the injustices in life, like child abuse, inequality, and racism, just to name a few. <clears throat> but we must be mindful that in the midst of our quest for the greater good, for those treated unfairly in life, that God commands us to express our anger appropriately. Violence and offending others will, will get us nowhere in life. It will only lead to deeper sin and unchecked violence. Our calling as sons and daughters of God is to set the ultimate example and lead people to Christ. Yes, Lord. And that can only be done if we are able to show the world how it can truly be good and bad. How it's all right to be angry, yes, but also how it must be held in check to ensure that positive changes will result from our actions. How are you dealing with your anger today? Are you dealing with it in a way that will bring glory to God? Or is it still unchecked giving satisfaction to Satan? Life is too short, I ask. Lord, Lord, Lord. Yes, For I control anger issues that are thin and hurt people. But life is not too short for us to give glory to God by demonstrating to the world how to be good and angry. It starts with us, Lighthouse. It starts with us of those who are tuning in to set the proper and good example. It starts with us because the world is watching us. The world is watching our each and every move in life, trying to pick us apart, trying to find reason to say that we are not who we say that we are. So we must set that great example. We must do that which will show the world how it should conduct itself. Yes, that an anger might not be the master that controls society, but that cooler heads, cooler minds will turn there. We can just see what our president. Lash it out at everybody and 
and everything they thinks is against them. Then anger is not the answer. We can see with many of these dictators throughout the world who kill all of those they feel threatened by, that anger is not the answer. We can be angry, but we must control that anger. We must keep it in check. Yes, sir. Otherwise, Satan will win. Yes. Satan will step in and get a foothold in our life that he should not have. How to be good and angry. Part one. We want to open the door of the church briefly and issue a call to discipleship. I'm just say to you to those who are tuning in. That we'll be, you know, our faith is being challenged, we're being tested as never before with this pandemic. God is sending a clear message to all of us. It's time to get right. If you have not accepted Christ as your Savior, you may be tuning in. We want you to know that now it's the time you should do it. Don't put it off any longer. Make a decision today to make Christ your Savior. To be able to bask in his love and his compassion and ultimately have the right to eternal life. For those who may be in between churches that are being in, don't be in between churches too much longer. Consider making money out of your church home, but whatever you do, get back into fellowship with those of like mind. Those that can be in your corner as it were. Those that can pray for you as you're going through a difficult time. And then those who have been away from Christ. And from God for a very long time, we will say to you, it's never too late to come back. You come back by rededication of your faith, the faith that you still have and may not realize. God just wants you to come to Him. Come as you are, right now. And as we close, I want to share. Uh, the thought for the week that should be posted. And it, it goes like this. Our faith has been tested time and time again over the last month and a half yes. with the unprecedented coronavirus. Many have lost family members and close friends. And only a few are left unscathed or untouched by this pandemic. If there was ever a time when anger was justified, it certainly would be now. While the word of God does not prohibit us from becoming angry, God does command us in his word to express our anger appropriately as sons and daughters of God. As you journey through this coming week, I want to leave this food for thought. How are you expressing your anger? Are you physically and emotionally hurting someone else through your anger? As we have seen in the recent attacks on Asia and other or are you channeling that, that anger in more positive ways that are not harmful but still bring attention to the problems we face in society today? Decide this week where you stand on this issue. 
and how you're dealing with your anger. And I pray that your faith in God and his will for your life will prevail. I encourage you to take this thought for the week to heart and seriously meditate on it throughout this coming week and truly see how and where you stand on this issue of anger. God bless you. And may heaven smile upon you. And we pray that you have continued good health, that you'll be safe as we continue to navigate through these unprecedented times. The information to reach me should be posted. Feel free to reach out to me at any time. If you have any issues that you might want to bring to me or just to talk, I will be here for you. God bless.